Hello everybody, Dr. Steve Erickson, and I wanted to share with you my very first impressions of the Butterfly IQ3 probe. Uh, and I wanted to start off right away looking at cardiac imaging because to be honest, it's been a fair criticism of butterfly probes in the past. They're not always that pretty of pictures with cardiac images. Now, if you've scanned with a butterfly looking at hearts, you're probably used to this. There's quite a bit of backscatter and noise, uh, and you can kind of see what's going on in the heart, but it isn't real pretty. Now, my assumption was this would happen because this all-in-one probe face was just too fat, and a lot of the sound coming out of here would go off the ribs and bounce back and just not give a clear image. But Butterfly is programming their ultrasound on a chip array so that not all of the array is sending out sound at the same time. In cardiac mode, they're only sending sound from the center of the probe, so it's actually a pretty narrow face, kind of like a typical phased array probe. Here's the exact same patient with the IQ3. It looks like there's less noise, less backscatter, and a clearer image overall. You might recall that the old IQ Plus also had a cardiac coherence mode. This is an ultra high contrast view designed to kind of help see the wall motion, but frankly, it was really grainy and I didn't find it all that helpful. The IQ3's coherence mode is a huge step forward. Instead of grainy, it's really smooth. All of that noise is gone and you can really clearly see the wall motion now. Let's look at them side by side. Here's the old IQ Plus on the left and the new IQ3 on the right. Same patient, same day, same scanner. And here's that coherence mode with the big improvement in clarity and resolution in the IQ3 on the right. The last thing I would say about the IQ3 is that you may want to take a look at the screen that you're using right now. I have tested this with an old iPad uh, version 5 that's probably about four or five years old. And when I would do biplane imaging or video recording, I found that sometimes I would have some lag on the screen with this faster uh, probe. On the other hand, my iPhone 12 that's only a year or two old seemed to keep up just fine. But if you've got an older device and you're thinking about upgrading the IQ3, you might need to upgrade your screen as well. So in conclusion, you know, I have used just about every handheld ultrasound on the market out there, and I would have to say the IQ3 can match them all in terms of cardiac imaging now. Probably even more exciting is what this thing can do with linear probe settings, those high frequency musculoskeletal nerve imaging, small parts imaging. This thing is really amazing with that. So I will have another video about that coming soon, so stay tuned.